like sit back. And if, as you're walking, you want to stand back up to reposition your pelvis and your hips, then do it because that way you'll get more used to doing it as a practice and then being able to sit down and sit in the normal position and feel that out of walk. Does that make sense? So go ahead and let's try it. Go ahead and stand and then just relax. And do you feel how much more relaxed you are once you sit down? And like, yes, your leg kind of goes back to your old position, but like you're, you, you relax. But and your leg doesn't go as far into the position as it was. So let's pick up those thighs and bring them back again, like I said. And then do the standing again. And then just sit back down. Do you feel the difference? Do you want to try doing it at a trot? Alright. Or a jog, what you go go ahead and pick it up. Come on, BJ. So now that you have more speed and more bounce, it, it's harder to keep your legs back, right? So relax your arms, relax your shoulders. It looks like you have like floppy arms, but they're not floppy enough. So, so keep thinking about those thighs, thinking about that leg. Do you feel like your leg's in the right position or do you think it went back to your old position? It was starting Yeah, so let's bring them back down to a walk. And then let's do our standing exercise again. Good. Do you feel the difference? Do you feel like how your legs are starting to like kind of naturally go back? Okay, so let's pick up our stirrups. Don't lean forward to get them. There you go. Alright, and then let's let's pick up a jog and we'll do some posting. And just think about when you're posting, that's kind of like you're not standing straight up but it gives you that period of time where you can almost adjust yourself, right? So just feel it out, right or wrong. You looked, but yes. So don't let your upper body lean forward. Put your arms out like an airplane and just relax into it. Because now you're kind of up on your pelvis again instead of on your butt. But your legs are better. They're still a little too far forward, but they're not as bad as they were. So let's sit, close your eyes, and feel it. thinking too much. Just pose. It doesn't matter if you're on the right or right or wrong. You're thinking too much. Okay, are you right or wrong? Okay, so let's sit to post or stand to. Okay. So one, two, one. Nope, you gotta stay stay standing. <laughs> Okay, so one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And when you're doing this, don't just like, after you did the, your two standing, don't just clap. Think about, think about your leg. Think about where your leg, how it should feel, how your hip should feel. So as you get more tired and the more you think about it, the more like your leg is wiggling. So don't think about like, don't you're like, you're thinking about the one, two, which is good, but like 
just relax into it. Like, it's like posting, so just relax into it. It's not, ooh, it's dog, it's helpful. You can put your arms down. That helps, which it does. See, now you're more relaxed. All right, now sit and try to find your diagonal. Don't think about it too much. There you go. Are you right or wrong? Right. Very good. So you're falling down and getting behind the motion like you are because your legs are too far forward again. So the farther back, your, if your legs are where they need to be, it'll be easier to pose. Don't let your upper body go too far forward. Be right or wrong. So now I want you to sit one and post on the wrong drag. Don't let your, your upper body go forward. Posting, like for me, when I was learning diagonals, posting on the wrong drag lets you feel how wrong it really feels. Can you feel the awkwardness of it? And you see how your, do you feel your upper body going forward and your leg kind of sneaking back into its old position? That right there is just an old, of an alarm to let you know you're trotting around on the wrong hand. So sit again and go back to your right one. There you go. Let's bring your, there you go. 